Hi folks, Josh Karyevsky from Industrial Logic again. I want to talk about planting agile in unfertile soil. This happens sometimes. Uh, we're asked to work with a team, let's say, and we start asking a few questions and pretty soon it becomes clear the team is having major issues. They've lost people. Um, they have new people they're supposed to train but they have the exact same amount of work that they've always had and it's way too much and everyone is stressed out and unhappy. How's Agile supposed to help this? Should we just start working in time boxes? Is that going to solve it? I don't think so. What's the problem? Well, if you go deeper, one of the problems is that the people being asked to do the work aren't able to say no to their superiors. That is, uh, we're doing 30 things at once it's too much. We're going to make it 15. So we're going to limit the amount of work that we're doing and therefore make it a little bit less stressful and, and actually have some follow through, some, some completion of stuff. Why is that not happening? You got to dive deeper into that. Maybe there's a lack of psychological safety. Maybe it's not okay to say no to a superior, in which case I would want that superior to understand what's happening within the team. So in other words, the soil may not be right for Agile to begin with and you have to go back and sort of analyze the soil and say, well, what changes would we need to make to the soil if we want to be successful with an Agile method? Think about that, right? So before you just start randomly applying Agile everywhere, check the soil. Thanks for watching.